Today I want to give you a brief walkthrough and introduction to Keepa.com. I want to kind of tell you what Keepa is, give you a good understanding of what the graphs mean, how to read it, and uh, maybe even some more tips. So this is Keepa.com that we're looking at right now. You can take a look at uh, whichever location that you are in. Right now it's set up to look at Amazon.com, but you can check out all these other options because Keepa has been gathering information about that. And Keepa is a program that goes in um, every day on Amazon and gathers information about sales rank and pricing and even more information about almost every individual item on Amazon.com. So let me show you what a Keepa graph looks like and how to understand it. So I'm going to go look for, if I can spell it right, Paw Patrol. Plane Patroller, so I'm going to look at this item right here. All right, so let's take a look at this Keepa graph. And you see a bunch of different lines and colors and shapes and sizes and scratch marks and, and all different types of stuff. Let me tell you what each of these means. On the left side of the screen, you can see the prices from zero to $70. At the bottom of the screen, you can see the date range. And on the right side of the screen, you can see the sales rank. And all of these items um, are turned on right now, but you can click these little circles to turn off the different options and only see what you want to see. So let's take first a look at Amazon. Right now it's showing us Amazon uh, Amazon's prices for the last three months. Again with the date range, you can change that to look at the last month, the last week, the last three months. You can do the last year. This has only been around for 110 days, so it just it has the lifetime here. But you can also look at the last 12 months on items that have been around longer than a year. So you, you'll notice here on Amazon, on Amazon's information here on Keepa, um, that the price hovers around 29.88. Uh, it was at once up to 34.99, and so it, you know it kind of goes up and down a little bit. So you can take a look at Amazon's price history. Now you'll notice that certain areas are shaded and certain areas are white. When you see the shaded area, that means Amazon was in stock at that moment. When you see the white areas, that means that Amazon was out of stock and was not selling those items. So this is interesting to know when you're wanting to either decide not to compete with Amazon or choosing the time you'd like to compete with Amazon because I know a lot of sellers don't want to compete with Amazon. This is a good information to have to know, oh, there's times in the last three months Amazon's got out of stock. I might be able to sell my item during that time or other people might look at this and, and see, whoa, Amazon's in stock most of the time. I do not want to sell this item because I don't think I'd be able to sell it. So that's the Amazon information. You got the marketplace new price and you can see it fluctuates throughout the, the time. And as you see I'm scrolling over with my cursor and it shows you the, the current price and then the date that it's connected to at the bottom of the screen. And this is just really handy to get a good idea of the information. Now you can take a look at the marketplace used. Now this is not a solid straight line because there are times where it was out of stock. So you can, again, hover over your cursor to see the prices of what Marketplace used was in the past. And then you can look at sales rank. Sales rank, uh, the, the lowest sales rank is at the bottom. The highest sales rank is at the top. Um, if you're used to Camel, 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 this is a little bit opposite. Camel has their lowest sales rank number at the top and the highest at the bottom. So this is kind of switched. But you can take a look at uh, and, and see how the sales rank has changed and gone up and down again from the last day, week, month, or the lifetime of that item. And so, but the, th the fun thing I like about Keepa is that you can see all this information at the same time or you can just see what you want to see. And again, while you're hovering over the, the, the graph, you can see all of the information and these little tiny pop-ups around that line. So you can see on Sunday, April 3rd, the lowest marketplace new price was $29.05. Amazon was $29.88. The marketplace used was $23.01. The sales rank was $75. So when Keepa goes in and grabs the information from Amazon, it grabs the current low price from Amazon, the lowest price for third-party marketplace new, 
and the lowest price for third-party marketplace used or collectible. So you can see that these are the, the lowest prices at any point in time. So it's never a guarantee that this is the price that the item sold at, but it's a good indicator of the possibility of what that price was when it sold. Um, so there's more information at the bottom where you can look at uh, community tracking, what most people are tracking these. There's statistics that show you the lowest sales rank, average sales rank, uh, which is really helpful. You can compare prices on Amazon. You can share this graph with somebody. Um, and then one of my favorites is more historical data. You can click that and what it does is it opens up and gives you the how many offers are available at any one point in time. So you can look and see that on April 2nd, there was 52 new offers and six used offers for this item. This can help you make really good decision when it comes to deciding if you want to join these competitors, knowing that that's, that's how many people you're competing against against this item. Now, the sales rank averages around 300, so 52 offers is not that many when there's a, a toy that's selling at a sales rank of 300. So this is just a basic understanding of Keepa. There's so much more I could tell you, but I just kind of wanted to give you a good foundation that will help you understand Keepa graphs so that you can make the best sourcing decisions possible. And you, you, as always, you can find out more about both Camel, Camel, Camel and Keepa and how to make smart sourcing decisions over on my blog, fulltimefba.com. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. You can scroll down, like this video, leave a comment or a question, or find whatever links we talked about in this video in the description below. And as always, come hang out with us, fulltimefba.com. If you subscribe, you get a couple of free PDF downloads to help your Amazon business become that much easier. And I'll help you turn part-time hours into a full-time income with Amazon FBA. Hope you have a great day.